The Teen Titans are one of the most iconic and powerful teams in all of comics. And they've had quite a stacked roster over the year, just filled to the brim with a bunch of young, powerful superheroes making their way through puberty and the awkward teenage years. And today, we're going to take a look at all these teen heroes, ranking each and every one of them from weakest to strongest. So let's get to it. Bushido is a Japanese superhero and a member of the Teen Titans. He was just a teenager when his mother was murdered, and so he armed himself with an assortment of ancient weapons and went out to avenge his mom. Each weapon is infused with the spirit of one of his ancestors, and the warrior's soul is able to guide Bushido in battle as he uses the weapon but he definitely bit off a bit more than he could chew when he tried to take on Superboy Prime. While the more famous Speedy is Roy Harper, there's also Maya Durden, a young runaway who was taken in by Green Arrow and became his sidekick. And along with that, well, you know that she's exceptional with a bow and arrow, one of the best in the world. She's also a skilled fighter, a skilled swordswoman, having trained with some of the best warriors on the planet, and always carries around an arsenal of trick arrows too. Panther, or Rosabelle Mendez, is a cat-like member of the Teen Titans. She was experimented on by the Wildebeest Society, dubbed Subject X-24. While it's not entirely clear what happened, she came out of the experiment as some kind of werecat, enhanced with superhuman strength speed, durability, and some razor-sharp claws and fangs. While again, the more famous Red Arrow is Roy Harper, right now the current Red Arrow is Amiko Queen, Green Arrow's half-sister and partner. Like her brother, Amiko is one of the world's greatest archers. Oliver has even admitted that Emmy is better than him and can pull off shots that he could never dream of. But take that with one massive grain of salt. She's been trained from birth to be a master fighter and killer, honing herself into a true force to be reckoned with. Celine Patterson has the ability to turn into an insect-like creature whenever she falls asleep. While you might think that sounds like a really useless power, it just so happens that it's an extremely powerful insect. She's got superhuman strength, speed, durability. She can climb up walls, grow extra limbs, even shoot out webs. The only downside is one, she becomes a disgusting bug, and two, she really has no control over her transformation. She just forms a cocoon as she sleeps and then wakes up as Skitter. Billy Wu is Roundhouse, a superhero who can transform his body into a ball. While that might sound really stupid, in his ball form, he's extremely strong, extremely fast, and extremely tough. He's also able to change his very physiology of his body, becoming not just a ball, but a ball of ice, or fire, or iron, or really anything. Don Granger is the second dove, the successor to Dan Hall after his death, and the avatar of peace. Whenever she finds herself in danger, she simply says the word Dove and transforms into Dove, a superhero with super strength, speed, and durability, the ability to fly, as well as hypervigilance, meaning that she's able to read people in different situations within seconds and know how things will play out or how people will act. Hank Hall is Hawk. And while Dove might represent order and peace, Hulk represents chaos and war. If injustice is ever present, all he needs to do is say Hulk, and he can transform into Hulk, the avatar of war. He's superhumanly strong, tough, fast, is hypervigilant, just like Dove, and has claws, which he'll often use to simply mess people up. Formerly Red Arrow and Speedy, Roy Harper is now Arsenal. He's one of the world's greatest archers. He's one of the greatest fighters out there, having trained under Green Arrow since an incredibly young age. Of course, he's also got some demons that he's had to battle with over the years, too. 
Roy is a former drug addict and has been struggling with alcoholism since 10 years old. Rose Wilson, also known as Ravager, is the daughter of Deathstroke and a member of the Teen Titans. Injected with the same serum that enhanced her father, Rose has increased reflexes, stamina, and strength, but is also prone to psychotic episodes, like when she gouged out her own eye to become more like dear old dad. She's an incredibly skilled fighter, wields two energy katanas, and actually possesses a slight precognitive ability. She can see into the immediate future and react to any incoming attacks. Karen Beecher Duncan is a member of the Teen Titans and a scientist that created a scientific super suit, which gives her superhuman strength and the ability to fly. She can also manipulate her size, shrinking down just like Ant-Man and Wasp, and can project energy or a powerful sonic blast. On top of that, she's also designed plenty of other bee-themed weapons and gadgets that she'll occasionally use. Lorena Marquez, also known as Aqua Girl, was the protector of Sub Diego before joining up with the Titans. Her DNA was fused with none other than Aquaman's himself, meaning that she's super strong, tough, and fast, and she grows exponentially more powerful when she gets under the water. She was also trained by Aquaman in order to learn how to fight, and just like Arthur, is an expert with a trident. Tim Drake is a teen vigilante who, for a time, acted as a third Robin after the death of Jason Todd. But when he matured out of the role and passed it down to Damian Wayne, Tim became the vigilante Red Robin. Like every member of the Bat family, Tim is one of the absolute best fighters in the entire world. I mean, he was trained by none other than Batman himself. However, that being said, even though he's still a brilliant fighter, I think it's fair to say that he's not on the same level as Dick or Jason, or maybe even Damien. However, where Tim does shine is his intelligence. He's got an IQ of 142, and is considered to be the only one who's a detective on par with Batman himself. Damien Wayne is the son of Batman and Talia al Ghul, making him an heir to one of the world's greatest crime fighters and one of its greatest supervillains, Ra's al Ghul. Since a young age, Damien has trained with both Batman and the League of Assassins, making him a highly formidable fighter. However, Robin definitely does have a problem with being a little overconfident in his abilities and assuming that no one could possibly be a better fighter than him. But of course, more often than not, he is the best fighter on the team and is able to handle himself against almost anyone. Virgil Hawkins is Static, a superhero from Dakota City who gained incredible electromagnetic powers. He can generate an electromagnetic field just like the Earth and the Sun, firing out powerful blasts of lightning, form electric constructs. He's even able to transform his entire body into living electricity. Cody Driscoll is Risk, a young daredevil hero who's pretty much invulnerable. He's superhumanly strong, incredibly fast, and is immune to most all attacks that come his way. However, he isn't completely invulnerable. If an attack is more powerful than his own source of power, well then he can still be injured or even killed. Jason Todd is Red Hood, a vigilante anti-hero who is a member of the Bat family and was a member of the Teen Titans. Jason became the second Robin after Dick Grayson became Nightwing and Batman was in need of a new sidekick. Jason was trained by Bruce, and was his partner until his death at the hands of the Joker. He was resurrected by Talia al Ghul using the Lazarus Pits, and then trained by both the League of Assassins and the Allcast. He eventually returned to Gotham City under the new alias Red Hood, using more lethal methods to fight crime. Jason is a master martial artist, on par with some of the best fighters in the world. 
and unlike other members of the Bat family, he's completely abandoned the no-killing principle and has no problem with going all out in a fight. Dick Grayson is the adopted son of Bruce Wayne. It was trained by the Dark Knight himself. Grayson eventually became Batman's sidekick, the first Robin. However, after Dick outgrew his role as Batman's sidekick, he graduated to the role of Nightwing. Even according to Batman, Nightwing is the toughest and the best fighter out of all the Robins, and someone who could potentially beat even him in a fight if the conditions were right. He's also easily the world's greatest acrobat and gymnast, with speed and agility so great that's even able to impress the Flash. Eddie Bloomberg, also known as Kid Devil, was the sidekick of the Blue Devil before joining up with the Teen Titans. Even though his powers came from the demon Lord Neron, Eddie isn't actually a demon, but his powers are definitely demon-like. He can breathe fire, open up portals, he can fly with retractable wings, even his own skin is 200 degrees and can burn anyone who touches it. And of course, he's got super strength, speed, durability, all of that on top of it. Kieran Singh is Solstice, a member of the Titans and an Indian superhero with the ability to generate and manipulate light. Her body itself is able to turn into a light form, which only makes her powers even more powerful. She can fly as a beam of light and project photon cells as powerful light blast. Miguel Berrigan is the Mexican superhero Bunker, a member of the Titans who can create barriers of pink energy. He can create energy constructs a lot like any Green Lantern, forming fists, hammers, walls, basically whatever he can think of. And since his constructs are made out of psionic bricks, that means that the bigger they are, the harder the construct, and vice versa. Tanya Spears is Power Girl, and man does she have some power. She's incredibly strong, able to tear through metal without even really trying, or even throw around armored vehicles. She's completely bulletproof, and is actually fast enough to intercept bullets, and also has the unique power to alter her size and grow exponentially. And as she grows and gets bigger and bigger, she gets stronger and stronger as well. Stargirl is a young hero who's usually associated with the Justice Society of America, but she's also been a member of the Teen Titans before. Her powers come from both the Cosmic Staff and the Cosmic Converter Belt, which gives her superhuman strength, speed, durability, all sorts of things. And with the staff, while she's able to fly, she can shoot out energy blasts, create force fields, absorb energy from different sources, even create different energy constructs. Leonid Kovar is the Russian superhero known as Red Star. Kovar found himself on an old alien spaceship that exploded and flooded his body with all sorts of unknown alien energy, completely changing his molecular structure and really enhancing his physical abilities. Over time, these abilities have grown and changed, going from being incredibly fast and strong to being able to fire out powerful energy blasts from anywhere on his body. This energy also just happens to be similar to red solar energy, meaning that he's especially effective against Kryptonians. Terra Markov, also known as Terra, is a former member of the Teen Titans, possesses the ability of geokinesis. Tara was experimented on and tested by the colony, hoping to tap into whatever potential was hidden inside her genetic code, and through death traps and fear, they were able to bring about her ability to control the Earth. Now she can control massive amounts of Earth and rock, shaping it to her will, and she can go incredibly big with it, and just smash things up. But she's also shown incredibly refined skill, the ability to turn one mineral into another. Lilith Clay, otherwise known as Omen, 
is a member of the Titans with powerful psionic powers. She's a powerful telepath, being able to read minds, manipulate memories and thoughts, cast illusions, and basically control anyone with a thought. She's also got empathy powers, meaning that she can manipulate and control anyone's emotions as well. Natasha Irons is the niece of John Henry Irons, the original Steel. A young technological genius from Metropolis, she followed in the footsteps of her uncle and became the next Steel, using highly advanced armor that she developed herself. Nat's armor is made out of semi-sentient metal that she can will to form around her, granting her superhuman strength, durability, she can fly and fire out energy blasts, and of course, there's her hammer, which she can just use to beat your face in. Jackson Hyde is the son of Black Manta, and is now technically the third Aquaman, but before that, he was the second Aqua Lad. Due to being an Atlantean, an Atlantean hybrid on top of that, Aqua Lad is incredibly strong, fast, and tough and all those powers and abilities are just greater enhanced when he's under the water. Aqualad also has the ability of hydrokinesis, where he can control water by speaking to it. He usually uses his water powers to form water weapons during a fight, but he can also control water on a pretty large scale, he can even possibly control the water inside an opponent's body. Garfield Logan, also known as Beast Boy, is a green-skinned superhero who has the power to transform into any animal. Originally a member of the Doom Patrol, he joined the Teen Titans after the death of the other patrollers. Beast Boy can transform into any animal, even extinct animals, animals from other planets, or purely mythological animals. From there, while well, Beast Boy gains all the powers and abilities of that animal. So if it's an eagle, he can fly. If it's a cheetah, he can run super fast. If it's a rhino or a gorilla, well, he becomes incredibly strong. The girl known only as Jin is, you guessed it, a Jin, the member of the Teen Titans. And as a genie, Jin has magic of seemingly limitless potential. She can fly, cast illusions, shapeshift and teleport at will. She can create energy constructs and force fields, even alter reality to a certain degree. Jen is also effectively immortal. She's technically 4,000 years old and is still only a teenager. Jesse Chambers, aka Jesse Quick, is the daughter of one of the original super speedsters, Johnny Quick. Jessie has a connection to the Speed Force that she can tap into by speaking a particular Speed Force formula. Whenever she says the formula out loud, she can move at superhuman speeds, speeds roughly half as fast as light. She's also got some superhuman strength along with it. Her body produces short bursts of adrenaline with the Speed Force. This is what gives her her incredible strength. Crush was a member of the Teen Titans and is the half Kazarnian daughter of none other than the main man himself, Lobo. And a lot like her dad, Crush is incredibly strong, incredibly fast, and incredibly tough. She's even got an incredibly advanced healing factor. Crush is also an extremely skilled fighter. It doesn't hurt that she's got Obulus, a sentient chain that can freely move by itself and has protected Crush since birth. Jericho is the son of Deathstroke, and has the power to possess other people. When he can make eye contact, Jericho is able to enter the other person's body and can control their motor functions, and even gain access to their powers and abilities. On top of that, if the person is unconscious when Jericho possesses them, he can also speak through them. Amon Tomas is the younger brother of the Kandaki queen, Adriana Tomas. Blessed with the powers of Shazam by his brother-in-law, Black Adam, he became the Prince of Kandak and the protege of Black Adam, known as Osiris. A member of the Black Marvel family, he was also once a member of the Teen Titans. 
Amon's powers come from the same power source as Black Adam's. So he's got a whole host of powers and abilities from the Egyptian gods, meaning that he's incredibly strong, incredibly fast, incredibly tough, on par with Kryptonians or members of the Shazam family. He's also able to cast out powerful magical lightning and is a skilled fighter. The only downside is overall lack of experience and his powers aren't independent. Instead, they're tied in and linked of Black Adams himself. Wallace West is the fourth guy to take up the mantle of Kid Flash, and like all the ones before him, has a powerful connection to the Speed Force. While he might not be as fast as some of the other members of the Flash family, Wallace still has a strong enough connection to the Speed Force to move at speeds faster than light, and along with that, comes all the other powers that you'd expect from a Flash. The ability to throw around lightning bolts, create massive wind tunnels, phase through objects, even travel through dimensions. Freddie Freeman was thrown into the world of foster care when his parents went to prison. Since then, he's found a new home with the Vasquez family and their other foster kids. Eventually, Freddie and his foster siblings gained the powers of Shazam making them superheroes. Just like Osiris' connection with Black Adam, whenever Billy wants to, he can bestow the powers of Shazam to Freddy, granting him powers and abilities on par with Billy himself. Vic Stone is Cyborg, a high school student who was merged with a mother box when he was injured, turning him into the most powerful cyborg in the world. His cybernetic enhancements grant him incredible strength, speed, durability, and endurance. But on top of that, he can reshape parts of his body into pretty much any and every weapon imaginable. He can also interact with any computer and pretty much all technology, making him capable of nearly anything when it comes to technology, and actually one of the most dangerous and powerful people on the planet. Cassandra Sandsmark is Wonder Girl, a member of the Teen Titans. She's also the daughter of Lennox, making her a granddaughter of Zeus, the mightiest of the gods of Olympus, and the niece of Wonder Woman. Due to being a descendant of Zeus and the god of wars champion on Earth, Cassie could arguably be more powerful than even she knows. But what we do know is that she's one of the strongest heroes on Earth. She's incredibly fast and ridiculously tough. She can fly, she has access to powerful magical weapons like her silent armor, her bracelets, and her diamond sword. Is one of the greatest warriors on the planet. Jaime Reyes is the Blue Beetle, a young hero fused with a Reach Scarab. And with the Scarab armor, well, Blue Beetle has tremendous amounts of strength, speed, and durability. But the biggest thing is that Blue Beetle can produce literally any weapon imaginable in an instant. And while that usually just looks like swords or shields or energy weapons, if Blue Beetle really wanted to, he can create nuclear bombs or weapons capable of destroying planets or even weapons that can kill gods. Bart Allen, also known as Impulse, He's the grandson of Barry Allen from the future and a speedster superhero. He was trapped in the Speed Force and forgotten by all until the Force barrier was broken by Barry and Wally West, which finally allowed him to escape. Bart has an incredibly strong connection to the Speed Force, to the point where he can easily outspeed most Kryptonians. Was he fast enough to hit Godspeed several times? when he couldn't even react. And as a conduit of the Speed Force, Impulse is able to throw around a lightning blast, vibrate and phase through objects. He can even time travel and make his way through dimensions. McGann Moraz is Miss Martian, the niece of Martian Manhunter. And just like Martian Manhunter, Miss Martian is incredibly strong, fast, tough. She can fly, turn invisible, phase through objects, she's got a whole lot of powers. 
McGann can shapeshift and transform her body at will. She's got an incredible healing factor, fire up powerful blast of Martian vision, and to top it all off, she's one of the most powerful telepaths on the planet. Like I said, she's got a whole bunch of powers. Coriander is an alien princess on the planet Tamaran who lived in peace and happiness until her home planet was conquered. Banished from Tamaran, Coriander was enslaved and experimented on, granting her extraordinary powers, which she then used to lead a rebellion and liberate herself and her fellow slaves from their captors. She became known throughout the cosmos as Starfire and settled on Earth where she became a member of the Teen Titans. Starfire is incredibly strong, fast, and tough, but her greatest abilities are probably her Star Bolts. Starfire has been described as a walking nuclear reactor with the amount of power and energy that she can put out. And she can use her Star Bolts in a variety of different ways too. Donna Troy is an Amazonian that was originally created by the evil sorceress De Niro to destroy Wonder Woman. However, that didn't really work out, and instead she became a founding member of the Titans in the first Wonder Girl. Donna is superhumanly strong, fast, and tough. And I'm talking about a massive degree of power here. Superman considers Donna to be on par with Diana, and Donna's even been able to hurt and restrain Superman himself, too. Superboy, also known as Connell or Connor Kent, is a genetic clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. Just like any other Kryptonian, Superboy is one of the strongest, fastest, and toughest beings in all of the universe. He's also able to fly, he's got heat vision, and freeze breath. But what makes Superboy unique is that he also has extreme telekinesis, using it to amp his strength, throw things around, control objects, and create force fields, or simply fire out telekinetic blasts. Wally West isn't just a founding member of the Teen Titans, but he's also the fastest man alive. See, after he was struck by a bolt of lightning and doused in chemicals, Wally gained a special connection to the Speed Force, a mysterious cosmic force that pushes time and space itself forward. And because of the time he spent trapped inside the Speed Force, Wally has a deeper and richer understanding of it than pretty much anyone. He's much, much faster than Superman, and even a bit faster than Barry Allen. He's beaten both of them in races before. And Wally can even go faster than fast. In fact, there have been times where he's moved faster than the Speed Force itself, and has been known as not just the fastest man alive, but the fastest being in the universe, clocking in with infinite speed. But I don't think he's the most powerful member of the Teen Titans. I think that honor goes to none other than Raven. After all, she's the daughter of Trigon, basically the devil himself. She's got access to a whole host of powers and abilities, like she can attack people of her astral form, fly and teleport, manipulate hellfire, and due to her demon and mystical heritage, is one of the most powerful magical beings on the planet. She's vastly more powerful than pretty much any demon lord out there, something she's proven time and time again. And Trigon has even said that Raven only uses a small potential of her power. If she ever let out her full inner demon, well, she may reach near infinite power. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.